Hi guys and welcome to my new video. So today I had in mind something different because I know I haven't been here for a long time and this is the reason. <laughs> so I got my girls done about eight weeks ago I think. So now they're all healed and I'm back on the business. So basically today I'm gonna talk about my experience getting the girl is done and why I wasn't here at all because I really did took time to like heal like all so let's start when did I actually decide to do that <laughs> so basically when I was I would say 16 17 I know I was like I saw that there was no progress like in the chest area and I was really really disappointed in that because like I know all of my friends had like bigger chest and I was just the skinny tall girl <laughs> and that was it basically a skinny tall girl with nothing to show <laughs> so yeah since I was 16 I basically knew that I'm gonna to get that done eventually so I was like okay I will wait till I'm 18 and when I when I was 18 I was like okay like I look at the surgeons and everything but I decided not to do that just for the time being because I'm I'm personally really like scared of hospitals and stuff like that so I was like really scared of like whole the process and all of the like doctors and medications and everything the pain like the pain was the main part that I was really scared about so I really prolonged that like decision fast forward for today I mean a few weeks ago when I had the operation done, when uh, I was, I think, in April, I saw the doctor and I was like, look, I just want them to look as natural as possible. I am not the type of girl that will get like, a, like the biggest chest ever because like I am quite tall but slim. And I was like thinking if I get like the biggest chest ever, like <laughs> it would just be a disaster because I think it wouldn't look great on me at all. But hey, I was like, okay, let's do something like a little bit smaller, but it looks nice and then I'm happy, you know. So we did high profile silicone implants uh, with 295, I think, cc's. So my doctor was like, you should probably get like 325 or something like that, but I was like, girly, no, because I knew <laughs> that I didn't want them to be like, all up in people's faces so i i think they i mean i have a brown but like i think they look pretty natural now when it's like eight weeks post up but like i think they are not like in your face like the whole time and that's what i really wanted so i asked him about all the questions like what's going to be the pain do i have to take medication how long should i rest like everything everything and i was like really skeptical because of the pain and the hospital anesthesia and everything like that so i was personally really really scared and i was like can you please just get it over with so i booked like the first possible appointment for the operation and when I went to the operation first, I had to do some of the like um, appointments beforehand just to see if everything was right, everything that I wanted, that I'm healthy enough to do it. So when that was over, when the operation day came, I was so nervous. Like I was like just like shaking all over the place. I couldn't like breathe. Like I was so scared. Remember going there with an Uber? I was like. Uh, in my uber like the guy asked me like if i'm feeling all right or not i was like i'm all right so yeah it was quite like traumatic like in that sense like just going there once i came to the like hospital and everything like they were really really nice they like told me everything's gonna be fine we do that every day and millions and millions of women get their chest done and it's like okay i can do that like if people can do it i can do it too i'm not like an exception or anything so i was like okay I will be calm and I was calm the whole time like I was really proud of myself how I took it because I was like oof I'm gonna be scared I'm going to make panic you know anxiety anxiety and stuff but like it was fine like <laughs> it was all right I was calm the entire time so after the operation I was like really groggy in a sense because of anesthesia and stuff but the pain wasn't like too much like I feel like it was right after the operation is like four out of ten i would say 
and I was really expecting to be like in that much pain after up it's like still is all, all fresh and they give me gave me pain meds before I woke up so I was like okay it's fine like it's hard but it's fine but bear in mind I was still laying and stuff so I was like okay <laughs> like how it's gonna be when I actually sit up or when I stand so you cannot do that without the nurse so when the nurse came like a few hours post up she was like okay let us you know stand up let's first try to sit and they told me like beware it's gonna be really really bad pain you know <laughs> it's like it's gonna be really hard and i was like okay <laughs> okay and like that pressure when you like when you stand up or when you just sit it's just like everything like gravity took over and it's just like <sighs> and it just feel like there is like a boulder on your chest just weighing you down and it really hurts so I took a shower then and then they were like, okay, you should not lift your arms, just beware, take a pain medication and antibiotics and you're fine, you know, lay for three days. And it was literally like that. So basically when I came home, like I took a nap, like it was really hard just to like stand up and go. Like I had my mom help me the entire time. <laughs> I was like, I have to go to the bathroom, my mom would have to like bring me up because I couldn't really stand on my own it was like really hurting and what it hurt the most was like this part for some reason not even like the girls it was just here like it really was like hard pain but fine after three days it was all better honestly like I felt almost fine I couldn't do a lot like I couldn't like clean and stuff around the house but I could like stand up I could take a short walk like to the living room and back you know like I could do stuff on my own and I was really happy about it fast forward like week post-op like it was amazing like I felt amazing I wasn't in any pain I wasn't in pain when I would stood up I just felt the pressure but it wasn't in any pain it was just like a pressure and basically I couldn't lift my arms and anything but I could like do stuff I could go out and stuff like on my own and I could even drive so I was really happy with how quickly like that part was over because I felt like it's going to last forever that pain I was like how could I ever feel no normal after that like because it was such a heavy pressure pain it was like how could I ever feel normal after this <laughs> but yeah I felt fine like after a week to 10 days after 10 days it was like all normal but they were really like high like all of this was up to here and I was like, when I first saw them, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> like they look awful <laughs> because they're so high up. I mean, the doctor said they were like, bring down, like, don't worry, they will go down. They will look natural. You just have to take time, take its course. And it was literally like that. So each day I could see they're dropping and it was such a, an amazing like process to look at like just in a few days from to go from here to like now looking normal and as you can see I will show the side profile it's like almost like a normal curve you know they still have to drop a little bit but they're like like they were up to here like <laughs> they were just so high it was like uncomfortable to look at and to like do anything with them so now that it'll come down a little bit they're like amazing they look amazing the scars i have like under and they're almost faded like all so i'm really happy with that they use like a non-invasive uh surgical equipment and stuff so it was amazing experience like i loved it and now i feel so good like i i feel genuinely amazing <laughs> so i'm really happy i did it like i don't regret it at all like i would do that like a million times because i thought the like the whole pain process would be much longer than it actually was it was like four days of pain and after that it was just discomfort and after like i would say 14 to 15 days was like normal so i'm really happy i did it like i would suggest any girl that feels insecure to do it because it's really oh and find a good surgeon don't don't do that don't go to some shady ones so i'm really happy i did that and yeah that's it for my operation journey but thank you so much guys for watching if you have any questions uh, make sure to write a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we are going to the regular schedule like this week i will post a new video we are doing it we are back we are back baby <laughs> so i just wanted to do a little update 
So be sure to like, comment and subscribe guys and see you in the next video on my regular schedule. Bye! Kisses!